Hey everyone, welcome in to another daily editorial here on the KE Report. We're getting an update from Labrador Gold, traded on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol LAB, and on the OTC markets under the symbol NKOSF. I'm chatting with the president and CEO, Roger Moss. Now, Roger, following up on a news release that came out just yesterday, June 3rd, some drill results from the Big Vein Target. The results here are some high grade, 20 over 20 grams per ton gold, over about 3.6 meters. You also had about 10 and a half grams per ton gold, over 2.4 meters. Now, this is still early on for the drill program, but the fact of the matter is you're starting to see this high grade. This is similar to what we've been seeing at other Newfoundland projects. Break down some of these drill results here at the Kingsway Project, please, Roger. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Corey. It's uh, it's great to be back on here to provide update for your listeners. The, the the big vein is starting to deliver, I guess. It hasn't quite delivered big time yet, but uh, we do expect it to eventually. And uh, you know, it's been it's been an interesting uh, month or so since we started drilling and and seeing the results come in. Uh, we put out results now for about eight holes, and uh, we have gold mineralization in every one of them. Obviously, the, uh, the 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 best the best results were the ones we put out yesterday. Um, like you said, some higher grade intervals um, with visible gold in the drill core, and uh, you know that's that's what we're looking for. Um, the market was initially ambivalent, I think, because you know the expectations in the district now are just just over the top because newfound gold just keeps putting out uh, incredible results and so uh, if you can't if you can't compete with that then you know it's it's almost like well it's it's not it's not really worth it but you know i think we have to yeah we have to bear in mind that we're we're just getting started here and um you know i, I we we've now got visible gold in four holes two of which we re- released results for two more in the lab and so the way the way I like to put it is, we're we're in the first inning, probably the bottom of the first. Uh, we've got a man on, and we've seen four pitches, and the more pitches we see, the better the chance we have to hit it out the park. And you know that's that's basically what it's about. It's it's about following up on these on these high grade hits with visible gold, um, seeing more and more of it, and refining refining the drilling to target it more effectively down plunge. We, once, once we figured out which way to go, which way, which way it's plunging, then that's going to give us the lead into what could be um, newfound gold type intersections. And that's, that's certainly something that we hope for. But, you know, yeah, I think uh, where we're at right now, it's, uh, it, it's really good. It's, uh, and I'm I'm very happy with the uh, with the way it's turned out so far. So Roger, in all fairness, uh, I think people are also paying attention to Labrador Gold here because the share price has been doing well, and these drill results uh, do obviously help to support that uptrend that the stock is in. But the company is still in really the middle of this twenty thousand meter drill program. You mentioned that now, once you hit this high grade, it's about following up and seeing potentially just how big this could be. What is the follow-up work going to be here around this high-grade result? Well, the interesting thing is, Corey, uh, you, you mentioned uh, 20,000 meters of drilling. I, I don't remember off the top of my head how much we've already completed, but you know, Big Vein, which is, uh, which is our primary target here for this drilling campaign, uh, is 400 meters in length, at, at least from what we can see at surface. Uh, that sits within a seven and a half kilometer quartz vein corridor, as we call it, which has intermittent quartz veining over that seven and a half kilometers. And not only that, the, along along that quartz vein corridor, there are two really good indications of put, potential mineralized areas. One uh, is about a kilometer to the south of Big Vein, and it's a it's a grab sample we picked up last end of last year, 16 grams a ton, it, it, it uh, graded. And we haven't, we haven't had a chance to follow that up yet. Obviously, we're going to be doing that this summer. And then the other one, a kilometer north of Big Vein, 
as part of a few till samples that we took last year, we got, I think it was 165 gold grains in that till sample. 95% of them were pristine. So what that means is that they haven't been bent or folded or deformed by the glacial transport. And what our consultants tell us is that that means that the source of those gold grains is very close, perhaps within 100 meters. So if you think about it, like, you know, we we try and we try try and look at the big picture, even though we're zoned right in on 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 Big Vein right now. Um, down at down at Queensway, you have Knob, uh, Keats, Lotto. That's three occurrences on Queensway all along the Appleton Fault. If you jump up onto Kingsway, you we're drilling at Big Vein, but we have another potential gold mineralized source a kilometer to the south and a kilometer to the north along the Appleton Fault. And also, that Appleton Fault is, uh, our property covers about 12 kilometers of that Appleton Fault. So when we talk about drilling, you know, we really are just getting started. And I think whether you take the, the seven and a half kilometer um, quartz vein corridor or the 12 kilometer Appleton Fault or the 400 meter um, big vein, uh, we've drilled about 100 meters. So there's a hell of a lot of strike length still to drill. And, um, you know, I, I don't think 20,000 20, meters is going to do it. Okay. So I guess we all can assume that this drill program will be upsized or at least just continue on. Where are the drills focused now then? And what's the attack strategy going to be in terms of step out distance? Because that's one thing we have seen in Newfoundland is uh, much tighter step outs because of the type of mineralization that is in Newfoundland. So how are you going about attacking this? Yeah, no, we're, we're following exactly the same strategy that Newfound Gold has used. It's very tight spacings, uh, 10 to 12 and a half meters. Uh, we have two rigs working right now. Um, both of them are on big vein, and uh, we're basically just fully focused on that, on that visible gold, on those visible gold intersections and following, following them out along strike and down, down plunge. That's, uh, that's, that's the entire strategy right now. Now, what about cash in the bank? Where does the company stand? I know there's been a few financings. I, I think you have quite a bit of money to keep this drill program going and expand on that 20,000 meters. Where does the company stand in terms of cash? That we have question. around 35 million in the bank. Uh, we were very fortunate um, to do two financings with Eric Sprott and Newfound Gold. And uh, we were really, really happy to, uh, to have them come in as, as shareholders and it just uh, to to us it just shows the the confidence that they have in 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 the property and and, uh, and what we're doing on the ground there so then in terms of news flow then here Roger is it simply just drill results coming out give us a little summary of what investors can expect please well I think the investors expect drill results and uh, we'll be happy to oblige and uh, I think, you know, the turnaround times at the lab, you know, we, we all know what that's like. Um, but we'll, we'll be putting out uh, draw results on a more regular basis now because we're sending samples to the lab every week. So the, the samples that we sent to the lab uh, a few weeks ago should be coming in. So, yeah, no, I think we'll, I think we'll have a pretty, pretty regular update in terms of drilling. But, uh, you know, also, like, like I said, that, that seven and a half, kilometer quartz main corridor is going to be the target of a lot of field work this summer. Um, and uh, we'll be reporting on that as results come out from that as well. So I think, uh, you know, we have a great team out in, uh, out in Newfoundland. They've been doing incredible work, both in terms of being on the drill, logging the core and, uh, and getting the samples out the door. And uh, we've, we've also recently started up our field programs. So we've got uh, people on the ground there. Um, just, uh, you know, we, we, we're going to just hit that quartz vein corridor and the rest of the Appleton fault, uh, really hard this year. Okay. So that's all the plans for this year. And yeah, clearly your team must be busy on site because of all the drilling. And fact of the matter is that this is, well, your guys really first pass at this project too. And all the attention that is in the area now is the time to build out these drill programs and, uh, hopefully keep on hitting some of this high grade. Roger, I appreciate the update. Thank you for taking some time to follow up on that news from yesterday. I'll post a link to that news release. And if anybody has any follow-up questions, please email me, fleck at kereport.com. Roger, thanks again for your time. Great, Corey. Thanks very much.